Okay, just a quick reminder, remember that lines are parallel if they have the same slope. So these two lines here are parallel because they have a slope of four. So L and M are parallel. Now if you look at this line here, line P, line P has a slope of negative one fourth. Lines are perpendicular if and only if the product of the slopes is negative one. So line M and P are perpendicular because if you do four times negative one fourth, your product is negative one. So we're gonna look at example three here, determine line relationships. So determine whether A, B, and C, D are parallel, perpendicular, or neither for the following points, A at one, one, B at negative one, negative five, C at three, two, and D at six, one. So the first thing we need to do is find the slope of each line. So we're gonna use the slope formula, which is M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So we're gonna be using this. You might wanna write that down, circle it, put it somewhere handy. So here are the points of the book, and we're gonna use this formula to find the slope of AB. So the slope of AB, you do, so we gotta find A and B, so we're gonna do negative five minus one. That's Y2 minus Y1 over X2, negative one, minus X1, minus one. You get negative six over negative two, that reduces to three. And then your slope of CD right here. So this is now going to be X1, Y1, X2, Y2. You're gonna do one minus two, six minus three. You get one over, oh, negative one over three. Okay, and now the slopes are not the same, so they are not parallel, but if you were to multiply them, three times negative one third is negative one. Since the slope multiplied together give you a product of negative one, they are perpendicular. Okay, why don't you go ahead and do 3A and 3B out of the book. Make sure you copy the numbers down correctly. It's a common mistake just to miss a negative sign. So do 3A and 3B and then watch the next video to see how you did.